Hey everyone, Gabe from Team Genius here. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through our new assessment builder so you know how to prepare for your next evaluation. Let's take a look. First, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to the Create New Page where you can find an assessment that's right for you. Once you find your template, you can click Get Started and rename this assessment. Most organizations will name their assessment the season, the type of evaluation, and the year. Once you hit next, you'll be taken through a list of questions like how many sessions will each player go through? Also, would you like to hide player names? Would you like to shuffle players between sessions? Do you want to capture player profile images? And do you plan to run check-in from the mobile app or from the computer or both? Once you complete those questions, you can navigate into setup and scoring forms to further customize your criteria that you plan to evaluate your players on. If you'd like to change this scoring form to be quantitative, you can certainly do that. Or you can stick with subjective and customize your max score and your scoring increments. Once you have that set, you can go in and customize your evaluation criteria. You can change the names here you can change the input type to drop down list or button group. Most people do go with slider scale. And then if you want to delete any of these criteria, you can do that. You can also clone, or you can add a new one, or you can rearrange if you'd like to. Next, you'll want to go to evaluation schedule, and you can change the names of these sessions if you'd like to. You can also select the proper scoring forms, add a start or end date, and we'll come back to player pools in a bit. You'll now want to go to add players where you can add players from a CSV file or from one of our integration partners. For help on this, you'll want to navigate to the help button in the lower right hand corner where you can search for CSV or sports engine or team snap or league apps. And you'll find help articles on how exactly you can import those players. If you do plan to go the CSV file route, I suggest clicking here and downloading the sample file and importing at least first name, last name, birth date, and email that will make sure there's no duplicate players brought into the system. And then player pool is highly suggested as well because if you import your player pools, then those player pools will be created on this player pools page. And once you do have those players in the system, you'll want to go into these sessions to be sure that you have those new player pools selected under these sessions. Once you complete all of that, you're ready to start evaluating with this access key in the mobile app. You can also invite any co-directors or anybody else who needs access to the back end of Team Genius under settings. Please let us know if there's any questions. Thank you so much for the time today and happy evaluating.